I come here not to dispute the suggestion that I haven't yet achieved enough in my life. First of all, Michelle concurs with that assessment. She has a long list of things that I have not yet done waiting for me when I get home. But more than that, I come to embrace the notion that I haven't done enough in my life. I heartily concur. I come to affirm that one's title, even a title like President of the United States, says very little about how well one's life has been led. We become accustomed to the title of military superpower, forgetting the qualities that got us there, not just the power of our weapons, but the discipline and valor and the code of conduct of our men and women in uniform. We become accustomed to our economic dominance in the world, forgetting that it wasn't reckless deals and get-rich-quick schemes that got us where we are, but hard work and smart ideas. It's clear that we need to build a new foundation, a stronger foundation for our economy and our prosperity. Rethinking how we grow our economy, how we use energy, how we educate our children, how we care for our sick, how we treat our environment. Acts of sacrifice and decency without regard to what's in it for you. That also creates ripple effects, ones that lift up families and communities, that spread opportunity and boost our economy, that reach folks in the forgotten corners of the world, who in committed young people like you see the true face of America, our strength, our goodness, our diversity, our enduring power, our ideals. So don't ever shy away from that endeavor. Don't stop adding to your body of work. I can promise that you will be the better for that continued effort, as will this nation that we all love.